we got Thursday night football, we got college football bowl games, and a couple NBA games. Uh, for college football and NFL, my videos have been out since last night. Hopefully, you guys are able to get those picks in before any bumps. Quick recap of yesterday we hit our day two of the latter day challenge on our five man. We hit four of five. We went a six man. We went a four of six. Uh, so we didn't we got some money back, uh, but we did the big thing we did hit the, the latter day challenge. Uh, so we would get some profit out of that day. Today is day three. The post I had on my Twitter and Instagram page. Uh, it's a DNP for Luca. I had Luca for first half fantasy score, uh, but apparently he's not playing tonight, so I had to redo my two man. And obviously, I'm still gonna stick with Joe Flacco's uh, passing yards at 233, and I'll be pairing it with an NBA first half fantasy score. And I'm gonna go with Colin Sexton. He is at 13.5. I think this is gonna get bumped to 14.5 closer to game time. Uh, but I'll be pairing it with Colin Sexton's first half fantasy score. Uh, Luca, it is a, a DMP for today. Uh, so these will be my two man for day three of the latter day challenge. So let's head on over to the five man slip that I'm rolling for today. And they're all fantasy scores. Actually, one of them is, is the first half. And I'm going to go with Colin Sexton. I'm going to stay with him for my first leg. You can also look at Jonathan Kaminga for first half fantasy score as well. He's also a good alternative. My next picks will be full game fantasy scores. And I like these for several reasons for each player. Uh, first one is going to be Miles Bridges. And I'll be taking his fantasies at 36.5. I think he's going to have a big game against the Lakers today. 36.5, very doable for him. He has a ceiling of 50. Past two games against the Clippers and Nuggets, both quality opponents. Uh, so I can just imagine what he's going to do to the Lakers. I think he's going to have a little bit over 40. And this one, over 20 points, maybe 8-9 rebounds. So I'll be taking the over on that. Next up I have, and I like this one a lot, is Jalen Duran. He's back healthy. And I'll be taking his fantasy score at 28. He can get a double-double very easily with rebounds alone. He can get 15-16 rebounds alone. Against Brooklyn, Memphis, he's gone over Cleveland. Against Boston, I think he's going to get plenty of rebounds. So I'll be taking the over. And most likely will have a double-double and should catch that fantasy score, which is nice, at 28. Next up I have is Contavious Pope. And for him at 21.5, I like it. He's been averaging the mid-20s. With Aaron Gordon out, I think Pope's going to have a big game. He should hit at least 30 in this game against Memphis. Should be high, fast pace. You can also look at Michael Porter as well. Remember, Aaron Gordon is out. So that's why a big reason why I'm taking Pope's Fantasy. Next up is Laurie Markinen. And at 39.5 against the Pelicans, he's been averaging the mid 40s. His minutes have been increasing. If he plays 35 minutes, he should easily cash his fantasy score. Uh, but he's, his minutes usually is way up. So he should catch that fantasy score if he gets his minutes at 35 at least. Colin Sexton, first half fantasy score over. First leg of the day three latter day. Miles Bridges, Jalen Duran, Pope, and Laurie Markinen. All over fantasy score. You can also add, if you want to make it a six man, you can add Joel Flacco's passing yards. You can just include the, uh, the day three latter day challenge if you wish to do a six man. But I usually like to stay at five mans or two mans. Uh, it's the best way to build a bankroll. Six mans are usually a long shot. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate the support. Appreciate the new subscribers. And I'll see you guys in the next one.